In this lesson, we want to talk about how to install Dixieforce software. The Dixieforce software file that you prepared as a DVD or through download is a zip file, which you can see here. Right-click on this file and unzip it and select Extract here. I have already unzipped the file and as you can see, it gives us a folder named DVD. We open the folder and click on Setup File to install Dixie 4 software. Before I start installing the software, there are some descriptions in the product information PDF file that I will explain to you. Okay, I open this PDF file. This file gives us information about installing Dixie 4. The Dixie 4 software available to you is version 4.92, which is the latest version released by Siemens. This PDF document on page 9 specifies the appropriate operating system on which you want to install Dixie 4. Dixie 4 version 4.92 is designed for these operating systems. Microsoft Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise 64-bit and Microsoft Windows 7 Ultimate Enterprise and Professional 32-bit and 64-bit with Service Pack 1 and also Windows Server 2008 R2 64-bit with Service Pack 1 and Server 2012 R2 64-bit. Dixie 4 version 4.92 have not been tested on these operating systems and if you install it on these operating systems, you do it on your own responsibility. Microsoft Windows XP Professional, Microsoft Windows 2032-bit, Microsoft Windows Vista, Windows Server 2003, Microsoft Windows 7 Ultimate Enterprise and Professional 32-bit and 64-bit without service pack, Microsoft Windows Server 2003 and 2008 32-bit and Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise 32-bit. The hardware specifications of the system on which you want to install x 4 are also specified here. These specifications are minimal and can be higher. The processor must be 1 GHz or higher. You must have at least 4 GB of free space on your hard drive, because the size of the software is about 4 GB. Your system RAM should be at least 1 GB, which of course is recommended to be 2 GB. Your display resolution should also be 1024 by 768 or 1280 by 1024. If you have the software in the form of DVD, you must have DVD-ROM. And also, your system must have DVD-ROM or USB port, which is used to connect to the Siemens relay. Ok, we'll start installing the software. Double-click on the setup icon. A window will appear. Choose English. Here shows the software in Dixie file. The first application is Dixie 4 version 4.92 that we need to install. Then we have to install device driver, which actually installs the relay drivers. Software IEC 61850 is related to automation that we do not need here. Signal 4 software is for displaying fault records that we do not need at the moment. There are some software in this folder that you can see here, but we do not need them. So we click on the first option, Dixie 4. We select Next. We can enter whatever we like for the first and second fields. For example, for the first field, I type my name, and for the second, I type the name of the organization. In the third field, we must enter the serial number. The serial number we need to enter is as follows. Ok, we click on Next, we click on Next again. Here is the storage location of Dixie. We'll click on Next, again we select Next and then Install. Well, here you can see the installation process. In order to finish installing Dixie 4, all of these options must be green checked and we will have to wait for the installation to be completed. Well, all these items are green checked and we click on Finish. A message appears in this window asking us to restart the system to activate Dixie. So click on Restart. 
After we restart the computer and the system restarts, we click the Start button. Select all programs, select folder Siemens Energy, then click on Dixie 4. If we click on the Dixie 4 version 4.92 icon, the Dixie 4 will open. For convenience, I right-click on this icon and send it to the desktop. Well, this icon appeared here. Okay, we said that after installing Dixie 4, we should install Device Drive. To do this, click on Setup, choose English, then Device Drive, and then Next. All Siemens drives are checked here and if we want some drives not to be installed we have to uncheck it but by default we do not remove any of these drives and click on the next and it starts to install drives installing drives takes some time well the installation is finished successfully click on finish button and close this window before we open dixie 4 version 4.92 we need to install a service pack to do this, click on folder Service Pack 1 and open it. Software Dixie 4 Service Pack 1 is available attached to the tutorial. The point to install Service Pack 1 for Dixie is that in Microsoft Windows 7 and Microsoft Windows Server 2008, we have to right click on Setup and select Run as Administrator. And since I also use Microsoft Windows 7, I select the same option, then I click on Update. This will update the Dixie 4 version 4.92. Okay, as you can see, it is now installing Service Pack 1 for Dixie 4 version 4.92. Well, as you can see now, Service Pack 1 is green checked and its installation is finished. So we click on Finish. Well, now we can open Dixie 4. I double click on the Dixie icon to open the software. Okay, the Dixie is open and you can see the software in environment. In the next section, I will explain how to work with this software.